win, how did you see the performance? Gritty um, and determined, um, with a lot of application and desire because you're not going to get a game of real quality football on this surface and that's not being disrespectful to the groundsmen or the people because they've worked their socks off to try and get in some kind of play in order. Um, but, you know, we wanted to get our top players on the ball and our creative players on the ball and it was clearly noticeable that it was never going to happen because you couldn't get them on the ball due to the surface. However, we said at half time, we said a real grit and a real determination, almost go and just get seconds and all around the pitch and wait for something to happen. And if we do get a good bit of quality, make sure it's in the final third of the pitch um, where we can hurt teams. Saying that, I thought we defended manfully when we needed to. Um, they're throwing people forward for fun. Um, Four or five of ours, if you notice, have been hit with blocks, you know, and they're wearing, wearing the ball, certainly, now. So credit to them, because it's not a comfortable thing to do, is throw yourself in front of strikes like that. So, you know, it's a big three points for us. Um, and we played better last Saturday and lost. And that's football, isn't it? You know, you go to Hemel, play well, get beaten 4-2, come back at home, not hit the highs that you're expecting, yet still get a 1-0 win. Yeah, you know, and the, the, the positive is we've come back from conceding four goals to a clean sheet, which is particularly pleasing. Good for Will Puddy in the back four, because they got a bit of stick from, from everybody on Saturday. Um, so a clean sheet, and we always look to threat going forward. Um, Carnell should score by his own admission and make it 2-0, and then the last 10 minutes a little bit easier than they, than they were, because it was certainly a bit stressful sitting there watching that as they're, as they're bombing forward. Do you feel for Slough? Because in a sense, you were in their shoes on Saturday. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's a difficult one for them to take. Um, you know, they, they come from a 4G playing surface as well, where you can roll it around for fun um, to this. So it's difficult for them. Um, however, you know, as Gary Horgan said last year, our home form at the end of the season was top four, top five. Um, and we need to make sure we replicate that again, um, which hopefully we can do that. And we a tough game on Saturday at home. Um, but yeah, I, I feel for Slough, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm not sure I'll feel it poorly for them for too long. What about the goal for Nat Jarvis? Yeah, I'm pleased because his work rate and his desire has got he deserves a goal for that. You know, he's unlucky not to score on Saturday when he's when he's possibly played better than he has tonight. But he never stops working, he never stops hiding, he never stops making runs for us as well. He occupies the two centre backs. Um, he comes back and defends from set pieces when he has to. So credit to him for his goal. Um, you know, I hope it's the first of many. It's it's a funny old game, as you say, that you sort of see almost two different sides of things in two games, you touch upon the defence. How key was it to get that clean sheet? Because it was literally the five at the back chucking their bodies in front of the ball at all times. Absolutely. We, we always say if we can keep a clean sheet, we think we'll score a goal. Um, and I think we'll always create enough chances. Um, and the positive is, going down this slope, there's always a chance you're going to get a goal. Always a chance, always something happens. Um, and it did. The three substitutes came on and all had an impact on the game as well. Alex Ferguson was outstanding, um, as was, was Alex, um, Alex Ferguson when he came on. Um, they, they have to come on and do that. They have to come on and make a difference. They can't just come on and say, oh, I've only got 20 minutes, I've only got 10 minutes. You know, there could be people feeling sorry for themselves so they've not been playing. But we're, we're in the league now where we're going to have to rotate and bring people in, bring people out and make sure that the people are on that pitch fit and ready to go. What about the actual pitch? You're not the only non-league club in Wiltshire that's suffered with the heat wave this summer. It clearly isn't great. Can you see it getting better soon? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we've had all the tests and everything done. The grass growth is good and the root distances are good or, or whatever they're called. So, yeah, you know, once the rain comes, I think we'll be fine. Um, however, whenever that's going to come, we'll have to just wait and see. So, I think the pitch will be fine. I have no doubts about that, but um, as it's difficult, certainly difficult at the moment. And do you use that as a factor at the weekend? You've, you've had to play on it against Slough. Come the weekend, there's a good chance it's going to be very similar. So, at least the players know what to expect. Yeah, you're right. I heard someone saying tonight, we know what to expect. When the opposition come, they look at it and it's a downer almost immediately. Um, however, it's both, same for both sides. Maybe have to take a pass out of what we normally would like to play. Is so smile was outstanding on Saturday on, on a very good surface. As was Compton, we get less of the ball today on the on the bobbly surface. It's easier to shut people down quicker on this particular pitch as well. So, you know, we hope for the rain. We hope for the to, to improve. And if it does, then we will improve our style of play for for sure. However, you know, as long as we keep getting three points, I don't mind how.